Welcome to Nigeria! In today's episode, I've noticed that there is a lot of people abroad that want to return back to Nigeria, that want to relocate to Nigeria. So in today's episode, I'll be telling you things that you need to consider if you are planning on relocating from America, Canada, Europe, whichever country you are. If you are planning on relocating to Nigeria. So in today's video, I'll be telling you what you need to consider when, you, when relocating to Nigeria. What you need to have in mind, what you need to consider before relocating to Nigeria. First and foremost, when relocating to Nigeria, you have to have it in back of your mind that Nigeria is still a developing country. You know, don't expect Nigeria to be like, you know, maybe you are coming from America, Europe, Italy, whichever country you are coming from, whichever developed country you are coming from. Don't expect Nigeria to be like that country because Nigeria is still a developing country. And Nigeria is also divided into three parts, three tribes, three major tribes, which is the Igbo, Yoruba, and Hausa. And in Nigeria, they have the northern part, which consists mostly of the Hausas. They have the eastern part of Nigeria, which consists mostly of the Igbos, and the western part of Nigeria, which consists mostly the yoruba people so when relocating to nigeria you have to decide the particular state or the location where you are relocating to and one thing you should have in back of your mind is rent so when you are relocating to nigeria for you to have a quality you know to rent an affordable or quality apartment you have to you know triple your budget you have to have enough cash especially if you want an accommodation you know that will be that will make life comfortable for you like for example you want a three bedroom apartment you should budget at least from 300,000 naira upward if you are looking for a three bedroom apartment or 200 that is the minimum 300,000 naira and also it also depend on the location where you are looking for the accommodation because there is some part of the country that things are very very cheap and affordable like that 300,000 for three bedroom apartments if you are relocating to a place like maybe the northern part of Nigeria or the eastern part of Nigeria 300,000 naira we also go for it but if you are relocating to a place like Lagos State Abuja Port Harcourt you have to triple your budget so one thing you should have in back of your mind is your accommodation the rent where you will stay so in some houses there are some houses that have you know ties stable water supply and there is some area that where they have lights where there is always power supply when you are relocating to nigeria have it in back of your mind that if you want a good accommodation with you know ties and water you have to spend more when relocating to nigeria another thing again that you have in back of your mind is that here in nigeria we don't have 24 hour 24 hour power supply so you have to make alternative for yourself like buying generator or using solar energy or inverter so that when the nepa when uh, power supply go off you use your generator you own your generator or you switch over to your solar or inverter to provide lights for you because nigeria is still a developing country so 24 hours power supply is not guaranteed it's not a guarantee so when the net when the power supply go off you switch over to your generator solar panel to to generate light power supply for you to make life easy or comfortable for you when you are relocating to nigeria so another thing you have to have in back of your mind when you are relocating to nigeria is the security for now i will not advise you to relocate to the northern part of the nigeria because the security there is still some security challenges over that area so when relocating to nigeria just consider relocating to the eastern part of nigeria or to the western part of nigeria for the northern part i won't advise you to relocate there at the moment because there is still some security issues going on there at the moment so we like to relocate to a place that is safe that is safer that is peaceful and another thing you have to have in back of your mind is you know when you after relocating to nigeria you can still help yourself by employing security men 
to guide your compound to guide your house when relocating to nigeria you can just hire a security man or hire just security man just to guide your compound your building your house when you are getting an accommodation or when you whether you get accommodation or you you build your own house so to help with the security issues you have to get you have to get a security man that will watch over your house so another thing i want you to take note is that nigerians they are friendly people they are accommodating people at least 80 percent of nigerians they are friendly they are accommodating you know they welcome foreigners so that is another thing again you should have in back of your mind when you are relocating to nigeria they are not hostile to visitors to strangers they are friendly they are accommodating people so nigeria is also a a good place to stay in terms of when you're having relationship you know in terms of people living there they are friendly they are accommodating also another thing again you should consider when you are relocating to nigeria is the, is for you to consider the cost of living remember this is a a country you are relocating to you have to consider you know the cost of food stuff though in some parts let me use lagos for example where i stay lagos and the east that is the two major the two major states i've lived in for example in the eastern part of nigeria where i've stayed and also in lagos which is the western part of nigeria where i stay there are some location there are some areas in lagos where cost of living is very very is near not that it's totally affordable but at least it's near is close to being affordable because we have the island and the mainland so if you are living in a place like an island in lagos for example so the quality of life there is on the high is close to international standard if you are the quality of life over there and things are since is not even near affordable things are very very expensive in that area if going down to the cost of accommodation to the cost of living you know buying your food stuff making your hair fueling your general cost of everything on the island is on the high side but if it is the mainland in lagos state the cost of living there is still somehow close to affordable so when you are relocating to nigeria come with a substantial amount of money to make life comfortable for you to make life easy for you because remember you are buying everything especially if you don't have your own farm where you plant your food even if you have your own farm you will still buy things so just come with substantial amount of money because if you are making your hair there is some cheap saloon in the mainland which we collect cheap amount of money to make your hair and washing your clothes you will buy detergents buy everything so cost of living in the mainland is a little bit affordable compared to the island and also in the eastern part of nigeria cost of living is also this is also the same thing so just come with substantial amount of money to make life at least you know to enable you have a quality life or near quality life compared to the ones you have abroad also if you are relocating to nigeria and you are not mobile that is you don't have your own you, are, you didn't come with your own car there is also commercial vehicles to take you around to wherever you want to go to there are a lot of commercial vehicles in nigeria that will take you from one destination to another destination to wherever you are going to so there is commercial vehicle that will take you there that one is not an issue it is not a problem so in all in all nigeria nigerians they are accommodating people they are friendly people at least 80 percent of them i can't say 100 percent 80 percent of them are accommodating and friendly so when you are relocating to nigeria just make sure you come in with substantial amount of money you know to make your life to have that quality life or near quality life so just make sure you come with substantial amount of money to make to make life at least easier and better for you because you will pay for accommodation electricity is not 24 hours you have to get your own generator power your generator yourself buy fuel and put inside your generator to generate lights for you in case when nepa when a power holding because we most times we call them nepa here in nigeria 
whenever you take off the lights, you use your generator. And you also buy food stuff to enable you eat and survive. You have to buy whatever you are eating, your food stuff, everything. You have to buy it with money. And, okay, and also, if you are looking for maybe to invest in Nigeria or business opportunity in Nigeria, you can just look for whatever it is not there and try and invest in it here in Nigeria. It's within some time, it will generate income and generate money for you in case you are looking for you know investing in nigeria so there is still a lot of that is another way you should look out for in all oh, nigeria is a beautiful place to stay with a lot of accommodating and friendly people at least 80 percent or let me say 70 70 percent of nigeria are accommodating they are friendly to foreigners so is a place that you enjoy when you relocate to Nigeria, but just come with substantial amount of money to make life easy and at least to enable you have a quality life here in Nigeria. Do me a favor if you are watching me for the first time, or if today is the first time you are seeing my face, today is the first time you are seeing this beautiful face, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. You know, the goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers. I need you, 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 you that is watching me now. I need you to make it happen. I need you to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to subscribe to my channel. And let's get to 1,000 subscribers. And also check out my other videos. I have a lot of interesting videos. Bye for now and see you in my next video.